Chris, what's the limit on the credit card? Uh, I think about 200,000. Why? Is that all? What do you mean? I don't need more than that on my credit card. I've been out on a shopping spree for a new wardrobe and things, and I wanted to know what the limit was before I booked my next Botox appointment. I would hate to show up and not be able to pay. How embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to need you to call the bank and have them extend your limit. 200000 isn't going to be enough. What? D did you take my credit card with you to California? Obviously. What the hell? I already bought you the plane tickets there and have been keeping quiet about all the absurd changes you've been making to yourself lately, but this has gone far enough. I'm tired of you spending recklessly and getting all dolled up for someone else at my expense. Excuse me? You heard me. I've been patient with you, hoping you'll come to your senses, but clearly that's not going to happen. So I'm putting my foot down. At first I just thought you were going through a midlife crisis or something, but it's obvious now that you're doing all this to impress someone else. How dare you? The only reason I've been doing all this is to get your attention again by looking like your other woman. What other woman? I've only ever been faithful to you throughout our entire marriage, but I clearly can't say the same about you. What is that supposed to mean? You don't think I know what you do on your girls' night out? Please, I'm sick and tired of you taking me for a ride and using my credit card for anything and everything. Enough is enough. What are you going to do, Chris? Fly here and take the card back? No, I'm going to report the card as stolen and have it cancelled. You can't do that. I never gave you the card. You took it. Therefore, it's stealing. This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to pay for my things now? I don't know, but that's not my problem. Maybe try putting them back or canceling your appointments. I can't do that. How embarrassing. Shame. Ah, oh, you're ruining my trip. What a pity. The next day. I finally understand why you've been dyeing your hair and changing your appearance so drastically. Oh really? I can't wait to hear this. You're jealous of your younger sister. I am not. Well, if it's not jealousy, then the only other explanation is that you're trying to impress her new boyfriend. That's laughable. Oh really? Will it still be laughable when I file for divorce? What? That's right, I want a divorce. Are you serious? Just because I changed my hair? Zoe, you've changed the whole structure of your face trying to look younger, to be able to impress this guy. How do you know it's for him? Well, it clearly isn't for me. If it was, you wouldn't be fighting with me about it. That's not true! Oh, really? So, the fact that you flew to California to get plastic surgery and Botox, when I was perfectly happy with the way you looked, had nothing to do with it? Not everything is about you! Maybe I wasn't happy with the way I looked! Alright, and the radical change of style? I don't need to explain everything to you if I don't want to! Yeah, you're right, you don't. You can explain it to the judge when he asks why you think I'm divorcing you. You wouldn't. You can expect the email from my lawyer within the next few days. Two days later. Hey buddy, I got your email about you wanting to file for divorce. Of all the divorce stories I've had, yours is quite bizarre. I already know she's going to try and get a top-notch lawyer to plead her case, but I know I can rely on you. Funny you say that, a uh, word running through the office is that my top rival's been scouted by her. Unfortunately for her, while he may be a great lawyer, he's not got the experience and determination I have. I knew it, so what's our plan of action? I'll compile the documents today and send them to her directly, and I'll get back to you with where we'll go from there. It'll obviously depend on her reaction to what the next step we take is. I'm already looking forward to this being over. Three days later. I have news uh, regarding your divorce case. Oh yeah? What is it? I'm not sure if you're going to be shocked by this or not, but after I mailed Zoe, it was almost instant that I got a reply from her. She wanted to meet up in person to discuss some things, which I agreed to. I can only imagine how that went down. Well, I met up with her today, and honestly, I thought she was just going to give me a sob story. And? You won't believe it. But when she caught on that I wasn't buying her tale of woe, she tried to make a move on me and suggested we take our meeting back to her place. You mean my house? Exactly. So, what did you say? I'm on my way back there now. I hope you're home. You're joking. We're gonna catch her red-handed trying to cheat, as well as trying to bribe a lawyer. 
You think she's trying to do this to make you throw my case? Absolutely, no doubt about it. Get your camera ready because we're about to expose your wife. And I'm sure the courts will love some video evidence too. You're brilliant. I know. This is why I'm the best in the business. A short while later. Did you really think it would be that easy? What? What are you talking about? What made you think you could bribe my lawyer into throwing my case by sleeping with him? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Because I'm in the other room. Did you really think bringing him back to my house was the best idea? You were supposed to be at work. I decided to work from home, and just as well I did, I get to see what really goes on behind closed doors when I'm not around. Nothing's going on. Oh, really? So you didn't lure my lawyer back to my place to try and seduce him into settling with what you're trying to steal from me? This is my house too. I'm not trying to steal anything. I'm just gonna get what should be rightfully mine. And what would that be? Well, firstly, you'll be paying for my lawyer fees. It's your fault I need one in the first place. So it's only right that you fit the bill, which will be quite high by the way he charges by the hour. You can blame me all you like, I know the truth. What else do you plan on trying to get out of me? Surely that can't be all. Of course not, I also want the house, and your collection of vintage cars. <laughs> you have high hopes for a second best lawyer. Just wait, you're gonna pay for doing this to me. Is that a threat? It's a promise. The next day. Did you get the letter of demands from Zoe yet? You bet I did. Has she added any other ridiculous requests? You already know she has. She was mad when you confronted her yesterday and found out that I, in fact, was not falling for her little games. Her whole character changed and she just about threw me out of the room, telling me that I'll be hearing from her lawyer. Typical. Yep. And as she promised, I received her letter of demands nicely typed up from her lawyer. What I want to know from you, though, is what you're going to do to counter her demands with, because you already know we're going to win this case hands down. I've been thinking about it, and first off, I don't want her to get another penny from me. I won't let that happen, don't you worry. What else? I want her to pay. Everything that she's had done to herself, I want her to pay me back for. She's wreaked havoc on my credit card, and she needs to fix it. You want to get even? Understandable. I also want to play the guilt card and get her to pay for emotional damage or something. Like, I'm gonna need therapy and trauma counseling or something like that, and she'll have to pay for it. Sure, sure, we can do that. Excellent, let's get this over and done with. Two weeks later. Chris, can we talk? What do you want, Zoe? The case is over. I've already won. We're divorced and I don't need to have anything more to do with you. Chris, please, I just need to talk. I'm listening. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hurt you like I did. You didn't deserve it. Thank you. I was just trying to feel young again, like you said. I was just having a midlife crisis, but it's over now. Going through this divorce showed me what I really want in my life, and it's you. It's too late for that, Zoe. The divorce is final. We're done. Please, Chris, just give me another chance. I've got nowhere to go. I've been living out of a suitcase in a cheap motel. Right, uh, what do you want me to do about that? You think you could just give me some money to get into a better place? Just until we work things out? There's no working things out, Zoe. What part of we're over don't you understand? Even if it's just a $500 for a nice meal, we could go to that place down the street like we used to. It'll remind us of the good old times. Zoe, get it through your thick skull. I'm not giving you any money. This pathetic pity story isn't gonna work on me. I'm tired of your lies and silly games. Fine, I'll leave you be, but on one condition. And what's that? I want a hundred thousand. You couldn't even get any money out of me in court. What makes you think you'll be able to get anything from me like this? It's not gonna happen. Just leave me alone, Zoe. Let me move on with my life. This isn't over, Chris. I will keep coming back until I get what I want. You can try, but it's not gonna work. One week later. Hey, bud, did uh, Dan get a hold of you yet? I saw I had a call from him, but I was so busy I couldn't pick up. What's going on? Your crazy ex is still trying to come after you. What do you mean? You know how Dan is a uh, private investigator? Yeah, he's one of the best. Zoe contacted him to get him to investigate you. You gotta be joking. I've told her off and changed my number. This woman just can't take a hint. She obviously forgot that he was the best man at your wedding. Clearly, but it's not like she remembered anything about our wedding day anyway. She got so drunk, it was like 
she was hung over for three days after. Anyway, I'm assuming Dan spoke to you when he couldn't get a hold of me. What else did he say? She straight up told him that she wanted him to follow you around and get dirt on you so that she could use to sue you. Of course, why am I not surprised? All she wants is to get money out of me. Well, you'll be happy to know that Dan is obviously more loyal to you because he said instead of doing that, he's gonna pursue her to help you get grounds to sue her. What a legend. Are you keen on another round in the courtroom with her? You bet I am. Hopefully this will work and I'll finally get her off my back. For your sake, I hope so too, buddy. Zoe eventually figured out that Dan was in fact investigating her and she disappeared, clearly trying to avoid getting sued and having to lose another court case. When Dan told me she'd fled, he asked if I wanted him to continue tracking her, but I turned down his offer as I finally felt like she was out of my hair. With Zoe in the wind, I decided I needed a change of pace, so I sold up my house and my collection of vintage cars and used the money to go on an extensive trip around the world. During my travels, I was reconnected with an old friend from high school. We hit it off like a house on fire and ended up combining our travel plans and continued our trip together. It felt great to have a partner that wasn't full of drama and just for material things, but rather just enjoyed having new experiences and making memories together. We grew so close during our travels that we eventually decided to take a leap and take on the van life lifestyle. The end. Would you ever try to change your appearance just to get the approval of someone else? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing.